What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Triv23. We're gonna try to pull a frame on a unibody. I have the porta power, but I can't get the porta power underneath the wheel well. I'm gonna set it on the rim, the emergency brakes on to push that out, but I can't get no leverage on that first. So we got a chain hooked up to the bumper with a one and a half ton hoist and a big uh, uh, a frame puller so you gotta move back a little bit deeper so we can get this in video here also you could do your video but i gotta try that so this is a ton and a half frame puller but i also have some uh rubber stuff right here so we'll wait so in case anything snaps from anywhere that's gonna go down This is a chain hoist. This isn't a. Sorry, here we go. Get the tighten. I'm gonna put this. Spread this out. I'm gonna spread the love here. Cause I don't want anything coming up. Okay, that's getting inside that's pulling it's pulling out really good i'm gonna get a little time to rest because you hear it's still trying to pull the metal so i'm gonna give it a little time to rest but right in here uh i'm gonna take the rim right in here i'm gonna take the rim back off so i can get some swings with the hammer in here that's all i have okay let it rest a little bit uh if we could get this trunk up <laughs> okay so we got the pool where we're comfortable with right now we're gonna try to hook it on here and pull it back from over here now so just loosen this up enough to get it Unlatch. I want to be able to get the porta puller because I want to push and pull. I don't want to just do one or the other. All right, now we're going to try to pull over there out some. I had a friend die, truthfully, with uh, these hooks. He's a mudder, and in the mud he got stuck, and they pulled him out with the hooks, and they didn't have any weights. These are technically still light. You're supposed to have weighted lead bags. Okay, what happened there? Wind over some. Oh, one of the cables snapped from here. Not the cables. I got a lot of weight on there anyways. Okay, let me show you this. There's a lot of rust on this. So the bumper's coming back. But it's also really rusty in there. So we want to watch it so this don't pull out of right here. Rip right here. We definitely are going to need the porta pooler to push from the inside. But look at how it's collapsed. See how much this is collapsed in here? Look at how that's collapsed in there. But look at it straight, completely straight over there. See? I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm all, I only do where I feel comfortable and then we go ahead and figure something else out. So I'm gonna start pounding on the inside, leave this like this and figure out how to get the porta pooler on the inside. I'm gonna leave the tension now, take this rim off and figure out how we're gonna get the porta pooler on the inside since the Porta puller can pull that. So I got the porta puller underneath. I'm trying to create some space so I can grab on the bottom 
so i pushed that back a little bit i'm gonna release it and try to get this lower i had to actually uh i had to actually uh try to create some space with a sledgehammer I push it back somewhere. I have it resting on the brace right here. So I try to get that out a little more. Here we go with the porter power again. See how it's coming out pretty good. Trying to push it out as best I can. Little by little, I keep moving it around and moving it around and moving it around where I get a little bit in. Little by little. Okay. Get this in a little bit more right here. I think that was it. I think that was it. There you go. All right, heard that? There you go. That was a good one right there. Now leave that right there, and then we're gonna come pull some more. On this side over here. Watch yourselves. Okay. So this is still a lot of tension. There's still a lot of tension on that. We gotta try to get the porta potter in somewhere right here in order to start pushing this out right here. So I gotta figure out if I can make a little hole back in here with the length to get it through there. Power, we got everything pushed back in the wheel well, perfect. But I can't get to this portion on the frame. So we hooked it up to the frame machine to pull that out right now. So we'll see how that goes. No, I see what you mean because the top is still coming up, like right up there. Yeah. It's still unfolding. Alright, I'm gonna have to uh, get this frame machine strapped down a little bit better. But it's coming out pretty good. Let me get the tension off this though, we'll get this frame machine down better. We're pulling we were able to get the trunk open so now with the trunk open i put the porta power on the inside right there the porta power is up against a two by four that's on the frame or four by four that's on the frame and we're gonna see how much we could push this out now i think this is from the grandpa make sure you move it there frederico nope
rescue the fish. Oh, that's pushing. Oh, that's that pulling right here again. pushing and pulling right now you got all pressure on the back and all pressure on the front starting to look like that port of power man that's gotta take the pressure off of that and reset it because that's uh yeah that was bending really bad so right now we're just holding by this right here For that part? Yeah, that's why they give you uh, extra extensions. Okay, I see, I see. Damn. Almost like how it was before. Oh, it's just that little corner. It's coming. I'm a man trying to ditch Zay. <laughs> you ditch Zay? <laughs> so you ditch Zay? I see all you want to stay inside. Yeah, I yeah. know. It's too loud. Got yourself let it set for a little bit. A lot of, has tons of pressure on that thingy right there. I got it. I got it. 
Look, I'm like, whoa. Are you still recording? All right, that's pulling and that's the porta power. I still see the wheel well underneath here from the inside. Underneath here is smashed in. Underneath this is smashed in. This is really straight. We could actually form that. Okay, we got the trunk open. Of course, it's not gonna close right now all the way, but we got the trunk open. My chain stuck in here. So we're gonna pull this out some more to try to get the bumper even all the way across because you can still we got a little bit more to go right here i've been pumping in with the porta power with a log in the back against the frame and that been coming out good i gotta take this out right here the wire harness so i could bring this down some right here and get the porta power to go straight right here so right now we're pulling some more uh i've been using my rubber mat still because i was practice safe uh i don't want none of those coming out at my face all right let's do it like that that's tight as can be right there completely tight i'm going to go hit it on the inside try to form a little bit and to get a port the porta power back in there let me get the short porta powers i'm gonna put a porta power back on the inside okay so here we are we're almost done we almost got this completely in order right here i actually hit this down a little bit some right here but this was completely bulging out with the bumper so we got this in some uh we still got the we got it hooked up into the uh trailer now the van hasn't moved at all the van hasn't moved any so i didn't have to worry about the weight of the van pulling the van hasn't moved at all the car hasn't moved at all we got it on one jack and we got the bricks under the tires i even put a a, a cable around it out front to my fence and nothing came out so this is what we got right here i gotta get all the, the special stuff for the frame puller but this is a ton and a half jack We've been pulling it from here and we've been pulling it from here and then we got the porta puller in here and so we got the trunk it don't look like it comes all the way down but it actually comes down more than this we've been going little by little by pulling on the trunk pulling on the trunk and we actually got the trunk to lock but it was bulging right here it was bulging right here and bulging right here a little bit so we decided to pull the trunk out some more and then get this to lock one more time and then uh, we're gonna put the bumper back on. So that's the porta puller right there. Two hours is what it took to get this straightened out. I got these in case it popped. This is all kind of tension right here. I've been using the sledge and seat clamps to seat clamp it and pull it here. Pull it from under here with a chain. Pull it from the side with a chain. Uh, I started underneath the wheel well. I started underneath the wheel well because uh, I had to get something to push back a little bit underneath the wheel well so i'll show you where i started underneath the wheel i'm sorry with the sun today now look now you can even open and close this right here we started underneath the wheel well and we pushed all that back right there and then uh this is still popped out a little bit right here we're just trying to make this where it's on the road and it don't look atrocious this you know not everybody can pay the deductible for insurance the insurance wants to total out a car if they total out the car uh, the person has no place to get back and forth to work so we're just trying to make it look decent enough to get back and forth so that's what we're doing right here with the jack and the port power okay so here we go we're done we're done that's the back of the trunk it's almost even we still got a little bit up right here but i mean it was up right here 
we pulled out the back right there believe it or not that bumper could really look a lot better if you sand the bumper down and just paint it okay so the clips were gone on the bumper so i just shot screws in the back bumper to hold it in it's a little bit wider still so if we had more time we could try to pull this out right here and this out right here but i gotta work tomorrow so we spent about three hours out here pulling and we got the frame straightened out where the car is more than drivable it doesn't stand out much it looks like it just got rear-ended right here it doesn't stand out as bad as it used to the light actually fits in place pretty good i'm not bad i mean i'm not bad i'm not a professional it's what i could do for my first pool so somebody could keep it on the road that's kind of what i try to do i try to help people and uh i got my frame puller i got my porta my porta power and we pushed i mean it was it was in i mean you could even open this now oh it's even coming out look at that you could open that opens real good now open that now this right here you could pull it from here and here but it does stick out some so i believe it needs to go in more right here so for that to go in more we would have to pull more back here about three different times we had to pull the frame then pull the trunk and pull the frame and pull the trunk so the trunk level works the trunk goes up and down opens and closes and everything now so there it is right there and uh it's not meant to be uh, a show car or nothing like that it's meant to be on the road and somebody able to still get by and get back and forth to work all right talk to you later subscribe like and share i use the harbor freight porter power and uh guide chart frame system